there is many many situations where you can't use the VLOOKUP function so instead maybe you can use the XLOOKUP function but here we have another problem because there is many Excel versions that doesn't have yet the XLOOKUP function so instead of using the VLOOKUP function that it doesn't gonna work here or to using the XLOOKUP function we can instead use the index match function in Excel that is an old but gold function here in Excel it works properly so in this video I'm gonna show you why the VLOOKUP function doesn't gonna work here and how can we use the index match function over the XLOOKUP and the VLOOKUP function. Basically here I have a sales report and here is where I have my problem. In the first column I have the order date, the brand name, the cost is blank, I don't have the cost yet, the product name, the salesperson, the customer, the price and then the gross margin. Basically I have two problems here. One, gross margin need to use the cost price to be calculated and another problem, the cost price is blank. So I need to fill it in here all these rows with the correct cost. So basically I need to take here the, the product name and then I need to sort in the cost list what is the cost of each one of the products that I have here. But if I do it manually, it's gonna take a long time because imagine I have here 26 products but my sales report doesn't have 26 rows for example. It has a lot of rows. So it's gonna take a long time to fill it in with all the correct information. So instead of doing it manually, maybe I can use the VLOOKUP, maybe I can use the XLOOKUP, and maybe I can use index match to help me out here. But let's start here with the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP function, as I said before, we are not gonna work here because look, I want to bring it back as result, the cost, okay? But I'm looking for the product's name. So I'm looking for the product name, and then I want to bring back the cost as result. No problem here. But if I take a look here in the cost spreadsheet, as you guys can see, my product's name, that is the column that I'm using as criteria, is to the right of the column that I want to bring back as result. Because of that, the VLOOKUP function is not going to work here. But why? Because look, if I use this column D as the reference to my lookup function, I can bring it back as result any column, any value that is to the right of my reference column. But here in this situation, the cost, that is the column that I want to bring it back as result, is to the left of my criteria's column. So it's not going to work here, the VLOOKUP function. Okay, I know that I can take this column B and then I can move it to the right of the column D and now it's gonna work. But maybe it's not always a good idea to just change the position of the database, change the columns, change the rows. Maybe you can't do it. So if you can't do it, maybe you can use the XLOOKUP instead. But your Excel version does not have the XLOOKUP function yet. So let's instead use the index match function. Anyway, if you have the XLOOKUP function, it's gonna work. But in this case here, in this example, I don't have the XLOOKUP function, so I can't use it. So we're gonna use instead the index match function. Let me come back here to the sales report. Then I'm gonna start with equal sign index function. This is the first function that I'm gonna use. And yes, index match function is not just one function. We're gonna need to use the match function within the index function. And every time that you have a situation like this where you use a function within another function, you can call it nested function in Excel. Index function, I'm gonna double click here, one, two. And the first thing that the index function is asking me is the array. And what is the array? The array is gonna be the range that we want to bring back as result. So let me come back here to the costs and then I'm gonna select the entire column B. Okay, so I'm gonna click, instead of just select the range itself, select a couple rows, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna click in the B letter because that way I can select the entire column B and then I'm gonna press here, comma. I'm gonna click here in the formula bar because we can follow along. Now the index match function is asking me what is the row number that we want to bring back as result. Look, I don't know yet because it can change. It's can, I need to do it dynamic because let's say in my sales report, the first item, uh, let's say, I don't know, it's zinc. And then I have vitamin C and then I have calcium. So imagine if I just type it in here for the row number, the number three. That way I'm gonna force my index to always bring back the row number three. And here the row number three is one, two, three. This number right here, this value, say 64.7 is the correct cost for the vitamin C. But zinc, creole oil, calcium does not have the same cost. So I cannot just force my index to always bring it back as result, the number three, the, the third row. I'm gonna make it dynamic. And to make it dynamic, I need to use the match function. So here I'm gonna type it in match. And then I'm gonna double click it, one, two. And now we have a function within another function. We have the match function within inside the index function. Now the match function is asking me, what is the lookup value? Now we're gonna make it dynamic. So we can change the row number dynamically. So let me come back here to the sales report and then I'm gonna select my lookup value. My first value that I'm looking for is the first product that I have here, comma. 
and my lookup array. My lookup array now, as I just select the product name, need to be the column, the reference column, where I have all my product's name, because I'm looking for this specific product name in the product's name range. So I'm gonna come back here to the costs, and then I need to select the entire column D. Let me just move this message to the left, and then I'm gonna click here in the entire column D. Press Jama again, and here in this example, I'm gonna use an exact match. So double click here, close parentheses one more time, and then I can press enter. And here we got, so probiotic, is equal to 76.30. Now let me just double click here in the down right corner of the cell to make sure all the rows contain the same function. One, two, and yeah guys, we're done. So we basically solve two problems. The first one, to fill it in the costs of each one of the products that we have. And the second problem that we solve is the gross margin. Now the gross margin is correct because we just filled it in here with the cost of each one of the products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is why it's important to know how to use the index match function because there's many situations like this for example where the lookup function is not gonna work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos comment down below let me know and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.